New tonight, Democrats showing their support for State Representative Park Cannon. Cannon was arrested after knocking on the door of Governor Kemp's office this week as he signed a sweeping election bill into law. CBS 46's Tory Cooper spoke with protesters outside City Hall. Just days after Democratic Representative Park Cannon was hauled out of the Georgia State Capitol in handcuffs like this. Are you serious? No, you for refusing to stop knocking on Governor Kemp's door while the signing of the new Senate Bill 202 was taking place. Her supporters, who were there when she bailed out of jail the same night, flooded the steps of City Hall once again on Saturday, protesting her arrest. I'm here to stand in solidarity for State Representative Park Cannon. Cannon's supporters say she was just trying to see the signing of the new bill that imposes new voter restrictions and was passing behind closed doors Thursday. It's a travesty when you have a bill that says that you can't have food and water. The new bill also cuts off absentee ballot applications 11 days before the election, limits the number of absentee ballot drop boxes, allows the state to take control of what it calls underperforming local election systems, and it now requires an ID number like a driver's license to apply for an absentee ballot. No justice! No peace! All right, here we go. Supporters of the bill say this safeguards voter integrity, while protesters today say it's an effort to silence voters. Um, more right-wing and uh, conservative representatives are claiming these bills are to make voting more secure and safe, but in reality, it's just trying to make black and brown folks who are uh, finally trying to give a voice to their rep uh, representatives for their community, um, trying to silence them. And and representatives like Park, who they say are fighting for voices. Shame on Governor Kemp. Shame on the state of Georgia. Trying to make it to the ballot box. I'm Tori Cooper reporting for CBS 46 News.